Welcome to the Tough Decisions Daily Show with your hosts, Dan and Danae Hanford. This is the Flashback Friday Show, where we recap the high-level lessons learned from the Tough Decisions guests from the current week. And now, your hosts, Dan and Danae. You're listening to the Flashback Friday episode. Today, we are going over the four podcast interviews that we did this week going over the highlights and the lessons learned through each one of those, giving you a sneak peek. So in case you missed one of those and you want to see which ones you want to go back and listen to, you can do that. So the four people that we interviewed this past week, starting off is Ryan McKenna. He is with TD25. So Tough Decisions podcast, episode number 25. Next is episode 26 with Trevor McGregor. Episode 27, Carl Hutchins, and episode 28 with Brant Cooper. So the first one is Ryan McKenna. So, Danae, what are some highlights that you remembered from Ryan's interview that really stuck with you? Yeah, it was good to talk with Ryan and hear his story about, you know, some struggles that he had, some physical struggles that he had in college. He was a very good baseball player and, you know, had plans to try to play in Major League Baseball. And that was sort of sidetracked a little bit by some physical problems that he had. But it was neat to hear him talk about how that actually, you know, in the end has turned out to be a blessing for him. And, you know, he's gotten into real estate. He's furthered his education. I think he just finished his MBA program. I just, you know, just a little while before we talked to him. And so he's doing really well and has made a really good go of it in real estate he was on this path and this journey of becoming a a professional baseball player. And he was basically, you know, in the zone of starting that career as a baseball player, he had gotten accepted into college and he was playing from college ball. And then he fell into some really severe you know, health issues that was causing him to be hospitalized for several months. And the doctors there were telling him that he would never return to baseball. And while he was in the hospital, he did lots and lots of reading. And most of it was on real estate, just diving in after book after book after book because he had so much time there. And, you know, one of the things that, you know, he's 100 percent healthy now. He was able to get through that you know, praise the Lord and everything. And he had his family beside him the entire time, helping him through that and making sure he was you know, able to get on to the other end. And the biggest thing with it is, is that he was able to go back and play, I think like another year of college ball, you know, after he, you know, got out, got over his illness, he never played professional baseball, but, you know, he was definitely glad to be able to, you know, play a little bit more ball before he finished out his career there in, in baseball. And one of the things that, that he likes to do is in making his tough decisions, you know, right now, even after that ordeal, he likes to go work out. If you remember that, you know, he talked about how he likes to go and run or work out or go lift weights or do, do something to kind of clear his mind and, and be able to, you know, get the blood flowing before he makes those tough those tough decisions. Yeah. And then on Tuesday, we had episode 26 and we talked to Trevor McGregor, uh, Tony Robbins coach. Yes. He is not just any Tony Robbins coach. He is a top master platinum coach with Tony Robbins. Correct. He is one of Tony Robbins's, you know, number one coaches in his program. And you can tell just from his, his knowledge base that he was providing to us that, you know, you could tell he was really knowledgeable about, you know, and passionate about wanting to help other people get into business and stay in business. And, you know, one of the quotes that I took away from his episode was that when you have a coach, it's very important because they can see things that you can't. And so it's really interesting to kind of see him as a coach and what he's done. He, he started out, you know, he's a Canadian and he started out by uh, getting a loan from his parents and it didn't go so well. Well, yeah, he told us about an investment that he made in a in an up and coming or a relatively new restaurant business and they were all in and it just didn't go well. And, you know, that was basically his plan. And once it fell through, he sort of had to stop and reevaluate and figure out where to go from there. And he did that, of course, and he did very well at that. And thankfully, he was able to pay everyone back and I think they've probably even, you know, at different points, he's been able to help them invest in different ways as well. So that was all taken care of. But he, like many of us, had a failure to get started and and he learned a lot from that. And the biggest thing from his episode that he talks about is that even if you have setbacks in your career, you can still come back from those setbacks. Don't let those setbacks keep you from doing more and continue to move on. You know, one of the things that we strive with or we look for the most lessons is is in those setbacks and in those failures. So the next day we interviewed Carl Hutchins and Carl Hutchins is a London entrepreneur. And it was really interesting to kind of hear his story coming from being a professional football player over there in the UK. 
Yeah, he was interesting to listen to him talk about how just because you have a lot of money doesn't mean that you know what to do with a lot of money. Yeah, the quote that I remember from him is him saying that, you know, winning the lottery without financial advice is kind of like having a professional sports career without financial advice. You know, a lot of these these college students get out and they start getting paid these millions and millions of dollars to play sports, but they really don't know how to handle that money. And we we hear time and time again how these professional athletes lose all the money, the millions and millions of dollars that they're paid just because they don't know how to manage money, you know, and, and his his niche really is to go in there and, and, and take these professional athletes and, and make sure that they don't lose all of that money. And he actually is in real estate and started buying property when he was only 19 years old. So he's got an interesting story, how he talks about how he got into real estate. And he did have a series of, of nightclubs at one point that he, he had owned and started to work on and, and just realized that really wasn't his gift. That really wasn't whether his strengths were the biggest thing with him is, is, you know, he, he likes to work with professional athletes and has now started to merge into, you know, working with some celebrities and, and high level, you know, C-level executives around the world and teaching them how to make sure that they can hold on to that money and invest it wisely. Yeah. And then we finished out the week on Thursday with Brant Cooper and learned several things from him as well. Yeah, Brent Cooper was an interesting interview. I originally had heard of him from another podcast. And when I was um, listening to that podcast, I was so intrigued by the information that he was providing that uh, at the end of that podcast episode, he gave his email. And so I shot him an email real quick and said, hey, hey, Brent, wanted to let you know, I really appreciate you taking the time to be on this podcast over there and, and providing the value that you did. And, you know, I would love to have you on our, our podcast for an interview. And so he came on and very, very willingly and, and shared some of his knowledge of, you know, being the co-founder of Moves the Needle and showing how, you know, in business, you know, it's not all about just trying to, trying to think harder, you know, you need to make sure that you try to run experiments in your business to make sure things work, do customer focus groups, you know, try to, try to, you know, maintain those customer relationships by, but, you know, not only being the solution to those problems for those customers, but also understanding the customer. Because that's, that's the way we're going to improve our, our processes and our systems and, and being able to meet the customers where they are is being able to do these experiments, do these think tanks, do these, these focus groups and allowing us to, you know, predict the future a little bit better. Because, you know, he said in his interview that thinking harder doesn't allow you to predict the future. You, know, you can think as hard as you want, but it doesn't allow you to have that future predictability. Yeah, so we had a really great week on the Tough Decisions podcast. Just a kind of quick recap, we interviewed Ryan McKenna, we interviewed Trevor McGregor, Carl Hutchings, and then Brant Cooper. And of course, we want you to get our weekend episodes as well. Dan will be doing his Step Up Your Game with Dan on Saturday. And then I want to tease that a little bit, Danae. The episode that's coming up this Saturday is going to be one on some decision-making strategies from the Virgin Atlantic CEO, Sir Richard Branson. Oh, okay. So we had a, a good time on that podcast episode and want you to tune into that. That's coming up on episode 30. So make sure you pay attention to that. And then on Sunday, you want to talk a little bit about what you're going to be yeah. covering there. So on Sunday, we're continuing our journey through the Leaders Eat Last and Sunday, we're going to look at several case studies of some, I think, very well-known and fairly recent companies that have had some good leadership and some very poor leadership. The majority of the episode this Sunday, we'll just be looking at those and seeing what lessons we can take away from those. But I think most people will find them very interesting because they'll be companies that everyone will recognize. Yes. And then the next week, we will have four more interviews from some very, you know, interesting CEOs and interesting entrepreneurs. So, you know, one of them in there, just to kind of tease a little bit, served some time behind bars for getting arrested for doing some drugs and, uh, and dealing drugs. So, you know, make sure you tune in next week, subscribe to our podcast here on iTunes or on Spotify or wherever you're listening to us. We really appreciate your loyalty. And, you know, if you have a moment, take some time, you know, write a review for us. And, you know, that would really help us out, kind of tickle our ego a little bit. You know, we're, we're really excited about the podcast. We're rounding out the first full month of these episodes of the podcast. And, you know, we already are being downloaded in over 29 countries around the world, which is really exciting. You know, we didn't really think that it was going to happen that fast, but it's really exciting to see how fast it's growing. So make sure you stay tuned for next week and uh, look forward to having you on a future Flashback Friday episode. Make sure to subscribe to our Tough Decisions podcast channel to listen in on Saturday and Sunday for our two specialty shows to help you make better decisions. 
the Step Up Your Game with Dan show will air on Saturdays, followed by the Survive and Thrive with Danae show on Sundays. Do you want to nominate a highly successful entrepreneur or real estate investor to be a guest on this show? Email us at dan at toughdecisions.net. Help us spread the word about the Tough Decisions podcast with your friends and also take time right now to subscribe and leave a review on iTunes, Facebook, or your favorite platform. You've been listening to the Tough Decisions Show.